What is going on everybody, it's Junior and I'm here with a brand new video and continuing with our RimWorld guide series, we're going to be talking about colony defense in this one. And I actually did create a video like this, but I took it down and I decided to make a brand new one due to some constructive criticism. I would like to thank you guys on the Reddit for that. But anyways guys, we're going to be going in depth on colony defense. We're going to be looking at some statistics, some maneuvers that will help you guys, some of you new players, and uh, it's just some basic stuff that we're going to add in. And I might come out with a defensive colony video and we're going to go even more in depth against how to defend against sappers and uh mechanoids and whatnot so if you guys want that video please show this video some support and without further ado let's go ahead and get started The main defensive feature of a mountain is not only that they can function as a natural wall barrier, but they also can act as a funnel for raiders that are attacking you. If you've ever gotten raided and a mountain has either split or funneled a group of raiders into a different position, this is the idea. You can funnel the raiders into one spot by placing your colony by a mountain or at a certain point around it. Therefore, the raiders that are attacking you will have to go down one side of the mountain to get to your colony. Rivers and marshes go hand in hand in the fact that they both slow down raiders, but you can build a bridge over a river that can act as a funnel and you can even booby trap it to kill incoming raiders, whether that's with IEDs, with spike traps, or just flat out ambushing them from different angles. Now onto early game defense. Try not to spend too much time on defense and make the best of the resources you have early on, whether that's wood, stone, or steel. One common strategy is to use stone chunks as a barrier or to slow down raiders. Instead of creating a dumping stockpile away from your colony, use your stone chunks to be a barrier to slow down raiders or you can actually put them in a section to act as a sandbag for your own colonists. Also in the early game you have these ruins nearby that can be made into shapeshift bunkers with some tiles being sandbags that provide protection. Shoot from behind the wall, not the sandbags for better cover. The sandbags with the tile being knocked out will basically just act as an opening. The sandbags just being there for extra cover. Lastly is use your spike traps wisely. Put spike traps in narrow passages that aren't closed off or you can put them in behind potential cover for raiders. Be sure later in the game, make your traps out of stone because if they are wood, they can be highly flammable and they will burn out and you'll have to recreate them. One baiting trick is to expose a raider's blind side by lying chunks spaced out or cover exposed from one angle so that you can flank them. Provide cover in the doorway and hold the door open and also allow your colonists to flee back into one side of the doorway behind the wall so they have extra cover. If you've ever experienced dry lightning strikes around your colony, you know that when flammable objects become inflamed in different parts of the map, it's just a huge plot of land becomes desolated. So to do this, you can get a stone wall and outside of the wall, outside of your colony, you can start a fire and it will destroy most of the trees and grass and just completely eradicate all the life in one area of the map, therefore leaving no cover. It's also smart that you do take all the stone chunks, steel slags from the map in that section and also store them in the dumping stockpile so that incoming raiders have no cover whatsoever. Now walls are essential to not only defending against raiders, but they also can keep manhunter and predatorial animals away from your colony. If you create a two layer wall, be sure to create a zone for all of your colonists and restrict the outer wall sections during raids so your undrafted colonists will not try to repair them while getting shot at. Early game, you can put a door every 20 tiles and use them as flanking points against incoming raiders that are coming up to one side of the wall. Make sure to upgrade your walls to stone as soon as you can near the mid game. As raiders become more advanced and higher in number, build extra defenses either behind or in front of your walls such as sandbags, turrets, or even small kill boxes. Be sure to section off your wall though because you want to keep your turrets defenses away from your pawns defenses so that if the turrets get blown up your colonists will not suffer damage try to layer your walls and create airlocks in between different layers of the walls therefore that if raiders break through one layer of the wall your colonists will have that airlock to fall back onto or even another wall to fall back behind and the raiders are not straight up in your colony 
One interesting trick that I've learned is the roof trap. This is something you might want to try during the mid game because it does require IEDs, which is a decent amount of research and also it requires chem fuel, steel and whatnot. Create a one tile support and create a roof area that spans as much space as possible. Place some furniture with an IED and when a group of raiders enter the blast area, it will destroy the support and the roof that will deal damage to the raiders head, neck, torso, dealing up to 20 damage. In the late game to combat sieges, create a mortar area with shelves that can hold shells. Also you need to space your mortars from each other and walls evenly. Note that mortars need to be outdoors so your whole section needs to not be roofed. You can also use transport pods to send predatorial or boomalopes or other animals to siegers as well. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for me and I would like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want me to come out with a more advanced guide talking about how to defend against certain types of raids and how to de destroy poison ships effectively, please show as much love, support, share this video, like it, drop a comment, drop a sub. It really does help me out. Thank you guys for all the support on the RimWorld subreddit as well. When I post some of these videos guys, you guys literally light it up and i would like to thank you guys so much for that thank you for the constructive criticism and uh you know this is the video so thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next one